Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Dana, and today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Um, I picked these up from amazon.com. I wanted to taste test them with my children. Uh, we are preppers, so we're always looking for new and different things to put on our shelves um, that are shelf stable and that are economical. These were under a dollar. I believe these were 98 cents. So these are the Chef Bourgie Mac and Cheese pastas in cheese flavored sauce no artificial flavors no artificial preservatives and no artificial dyes so that's a good thing um, we're looking at one can that's one serving uh, one whole can is 350 calories and here's all the nutritional information but you can just pause it take a look at it there you go. I'll put it up a little higher. You could take a look at it. And you can also get a better look at the ingredients online. But if you want to pause it and try to look at that, I know you really can't. But you could just go right online and take a peek. So this had a Best Buy date. We just got it today. And this had a Best Buy date of December of 2022 from Amazon.com. And I'm gonna pop it open. It does have a pop top, which I don't prefer. I prefer a solid lid because it has a longer, um, better longevity because these can get compromised a little bit faster, especially if you um, put them on top of one another or other cans, you really want a solid top. But um, in case of a, let's say an, an, electric, an electrical type situation, you have no electricity, uh, pop tops are going to be great, especially if you have an electric can opener or you have some kind of disability or a hand injury where you're not going to be able to open it up with a can opener, but whether um, pop it open, you'll have a better chance of doing it with this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and heat this up and I'm going to tell you what my thoughts are and what my kids think of it as well. So popping it open is very easy. You heard it go, you heard that nice noise that you want to hear when you pop open a can it opens up very easily and there you go that's what it looks like it doesn't smell bad at all it smells pretty good and I'm gonna heat it up and try to cook it up for y'all now for cooking instructions for heating I should say it does say you can microwave this um, it says you can microwave it in a microwave safe bowl um, you cover it um, for a minute and a half or until hot and handle because it will be hot to handle with care. You could do it on the stove top, heat it over medium heat until hot, stirring occasionally. So you do have two options of doing this. Now, as you can see, one can did a very nice job of filling up two of my bowls here. So we're gonna heat these up in the microwave just to try a microwave style because I still have another can that I can do on the stove. I wanna see what they're like. Okay guys, I microwave these and they're looking very good. They don't feel smushy. They have a nice texture to them. Um, they're holding up very well. So I'm gonna give this a go and let's see what it's like. Wow, it's hot. Mm. Well, at first go, they are flavorless. Mm. The macaroni is good. The cheese sauce is flavorless. There's a little bit of cheese sauce in here, but you just don't really taste it. Now, it doesn't taste bad. It just tastes like creamy, creamy macaroni, but without flavor. So what I would recommend is... I feel that this is still a good one for us because we have a, a ton of spices and we enjoy spicing our own meals. And so um, this will still be one, a good one to go just because it's ready to go and it's already pre-cooked and then when you just add your own spices and your own flavor, you can even add your own sauce in there to heighten it up the way that you like um, besides spices. But besides that, um, Besides it being literally flavorless, I don't, I don't taste anything. The macaroni itself tastes good. It's not smushy. It doesn't taste weird. And you would think since it has this cheese, supposed cheese flavored sauce, but there's no flavor to it, that it would taste weird. But there's 
no flavor to it. So it's actually a great base to start off, or even if you have finicky, picky kids, um, this might be a good one for them. So again, great one to have. It has no flavor though, but you would need to add your own spices to it. Um, for those people that need bland items that are soft, this would be the way to go too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.